Jesus. If you want to make a very good point, the way to do it, other than fasting, is to make a half circle on one side and then connect it with a half circle on the other. Although counterintuitive, this works because you have more control bringing your time towards Jesus than pushing your time away from Jesus. That was to make some headaches. Because plowing is hard. So you can make these as large or as small as you like. But whichever side you pick for the first one, you should probably be consistent all around. I've made a big one so that we can make this video a little bit shorter. Now the first petal to grow would be the petals on the front of the tree. The petals you see closer to you. I'm going to make the green. Maybe you have a way of making one large petal around the whole flower. If you do, send a picture of the other to me. Next, we're making a secondary and third one with the front one. By coming between the petals you already grew and these little half petals. You do that on either side. idea is that you draw the petal up and over and let it get cut off by one of the front ones. When you run out of room for doing the other one, the next thing you're going to want to do is make the last one. The way we'll do that is by simply making little curves over the tree so it doesn't have those curves in it. This is a pretty big, heavy-looking flower. Then let the stem come out of the side, as if the head of the flower is coming down. Now, with the front, we'll just make a kind of generally up and down kind of flower like that. Let's bring it to the right. Then we'll move a little bit to the left of that line. Always going pretty much as best as you can if you're going to make two or three things. Add to it a little. Now you can put a little bit of fruit in there. Maybe you want some cherry pie. If you give it some vanilla cherry pie, make some marks, make a little trail. Make sure that the space you leave there is open. Make some circles. Depending on which part of the flower the petals are, depends on where you're going to put that shade line. So as usual, I put the light source to the right of the picture. And you can see that the parts farther away from the light source, the parts on the left, are the parts that get shot. shape of the flower by how far the shadow is. For instance, you want to make this look as though it bends a little bit. So it bends away from the light. You put shadow on the part that bends away from the light, and it looks better. Like I said before, I'm not particularly good at this, but I'll share what it is that I know. Next, we're going to put a little bit of detail on the top. 
like a big flattened out F with a point in it. And that's your F, and there is the point. So you're going to do that. So for three students, you need to take the third one with this one at the end. Do a little bit of shadow, a little bit of shading, dark background. It's called the lattice effect. 